It's Umsum time. What if we only ate junk food? Not good. Umsum only eats healthy food. Oh, Umsum. If we only ate junk food, happiness of people who love pizzas and burgers will know no bounds. Our weight will definitely increase beyond bounds. Dietitians may jump off to a different planet. Hmm. Gym owners may make a lot of money. Mm. Pizza corners may get full, while salad corners may get empty. Hmm. Sellers of pizzas and burgers may suddenly become very rich. Hmm. Delivery guys may get super, super busy. Hmm. Ketchup makes junk food tasty. Some people may order a truckload of it. Hmm. People may become extremely overweight. They may not be able to balance themselves. Hmm. Even aliens may start putting on weight. Hmm. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. Is overcooked oh. food good for us? Obviously. Burnt toast is my favorite. Oh, um some. <laughs> Overcooking or charring the food from outside is in trend because it adds a smoky flavor and enhances the taste. Hmm. However, experts believe that overcooking can have negative health effects. Firstly, the longer you cook, the more nutrient oh. loss occurs. Secondly, overcooked food is hard to digest and metabolize. Thirdly, when we cook starchy food at high temperatures for longer periods, the naturally occurring sugar and amino acids react to form harmful carcinogens <laughs> like acrylamides. Whereas, overcooking of meat causes sugar, amino acids, and a substance called creatine to react, producing carcinogens <laughs> called heterocyclic amines. Lastly, while grilling, fat from the meat can drip onto the burning coal, leading to the production of carcinogens <laughs> called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Hence, it is recommended to cook food just until it gets a golden yellow color and not oh. until it turns brown or black. Hmm. Hmm? Are canned ah. foods safe? Huh? No, just pizzas are safe. Oh, um <laughs> some. Canning is basically a method in which food items are processed and then packed in airtight containers. This helps preserve food for longer periods. However, there are some disadvantages of canned foods. Firstly, canned foods can be high in sugar and salt, so they can pose a risk for people with high blood pressure, <laughs> diabetes, obesity, etc. Hmm. Secondly, most cans have a coating of bisphenol A to prevent corrosion. Studies suggest that bisphenol A can leak into the food and have negative huh? effects on our hormones and reproductive system. Hmm. Thirdly, the acids present in food can react with the metal can and produce hydrogen gas, creating bulges, thus making food unsafe to eat. Hmm. Lastly, improper canning process can lead to growth of dangerous bacteria called Clostridium botulinum. It produces a lethal toxin which, if consumed, can paralyze our muscles and cause death if left untreated. Hmm. Is fermented food good for us? No, French fries are the best for me. All right, oh. now listen. Fermentation is a process in which natural bacteria and yeast break down the sugar and starch present in the food, ah. producing lactic acid and other compounds. For decades, fermenting was a technique to preserve food. However, nowadays, fermented food is getting a lot of attention because of the benefits it provides. Firstly, as the fermented food is pre-digested or broken down by bacteria, these foods are easier for us to digest. Ah. Secondly, fermentation increases the nutritional value by producing beneficial enzymes and vitamins. Thirdly, as microorganisms break down lactose present in the food, lactose intolerant people can eat yogurt and other fermented mm. milk products. Lastly, Fermented foods contain probiotics, which are good or friendly bacteria. They improve our gut health, thus leading to a healthy immune system. Hmm. 
Why does salt make food taste better? <sighs> Wait, I'll explain. Salt, which is basically sodium chloride, makes almost everything taste better. Whether it is french fries, certain fruits, curries, or even cookies, we like at least a little salt in all these foods. According to researchers, we've evolved to like salt maybe because our bodies need salt for survival. Huh? What? Salt for survival? Indeed. Sodium present in salt maintains our blood pressure, transmits nerve impulses, etc. Whereas chloride is used to produce hydrochloric acid in our stomach. Hence, to obtain salt, we have gradually developed a taste for it. Thus, salt in food makes it appealing and tasty. In addition to this, it is found that salt suppresses bitterness better than sugar. Researchers aren't sure how. Some researchers suggest that salt neutralizes the bitter tongue receptors, while some suggest that on adding salt, the brain interprets the taste as less bitter. Hmm. Is expired food huh? safe to eat? No problemo. I'm as strong as Hulk. <laughs> oh, um some. Usually, we see three types of dates on food products. Sell by, best by, and use by. Use by is what we call the expiry date. Consuming food past this date may prove to be harmful. Firstly, the nutritional value of the food will reduce. Secondly, as bacteria don't usually grow at low temperatures, many foods are frozen. But if foods are kept at room temperature, bacteria will develop in them. Now, if consumed, they can cause vomiting, diarrhea, food poisoning, etc. Thirdly, it is believed that when canned food expires, the acids present in food react with the metal can and produce hydrogen gas, creating bulges in the can and thus making the food unsafe to eat. So, expiry date is definitely a good indicator. But apart from that, we should also rely on our senses of smell and sight to check the quality of the food. Hmm. Topic, human nose. <laughs> Why does spicy food make your nose run? Because it is not that strong to make me run. <laughs> nah. Huh? Our nose consists of tiny hair and a sticky substance called mucus. Can I use this mucus to stick my broken vase? <laughs> Ooh, gross. Huh? Please don't do that hmm. and listen. During breathing, the hair and mucus trap harmful substances thus prohibiting them from entering deep inside the body. <laughs> huh? Now, spicy food items like chili, mustard, horseradish, and wasabi contain chemicals called capsaicin and allyl isothiocyanate. <laughs> when we eat such food items, the capsaicin and allyl isothiocyanate travel through the pharynx and reach our nose. Here, the chemicals activate the heat-sensing receptors, thus causing inflammation in our nose and irritation of the mucus. <laughs> Hence, as a defense mechanism, more mucus is produced in our nose mm. to get rid of these chemicals, mm. thus <laughs> making our nose run. Why do we love junk food? Cause it looks cool, bro. Nah. We love junk food because manufacturers oh. design it to activate our ah. brain's reward system. They create the perfect combination of salt, sugar, spices, etc., which excite our ah. taste buds, thus activating our brain's reward system, making us feel good. Now, after this, when we eat regular food, as it doesn't activate the reward system, it feels less appealing. Besides this, if we compare these foods, the quantity of healthy food looks more, right? Ah. But surprisingly, they both contain the same number of calories. What? Yes. Now, since healthy food also contains fiber and water, they add up to the volume, thus filling our stomach. But, as the junk food doesn't have enough water and fiber, it doesn't fill us. So, we keep eating and thus end up consuming more calories, leading to obesity, diabetes, oh. etc. Mm. Why do birds need gravity to swallow food? Maybe because they are fans of Newton. No. When humans eat food, it enters into a muscular organ called food pipe or esophagus. In the esophagus, a series of contraction and relaxation takes place that pushes or moves food towards the stomach. This movement is called peristalsis. Dude, 
Why do you use such complicated names? Oh, please listen. In most birds, such peristaltic <laughs> movement doesn't take place in their esophagus. Hence, oh. they need to depend on gravity to push their food through the esophagus. When a bird eats its food, the bird lifts or tilts its head up, and with the help of its tongue, it directs the food towards the throat. Then, the gravitational force of Earth causes the food to slide down into a pouch called crop, thus helping the bird to swallow its food. <laughs>